Death flights Spanish, vuelos de la muerte, are a form of extrajudicial killing practiced by military forces in possession of aircraft. Victims are dropped to their death from airplanes or helicopters into oceans, large rivers, or even mountains. Death flights have been carried out in a number of internal conflicts, including the 1957 Battle of Algiers and by the Junta dictatorship during the Argentine Dirty War between 1974 to 1983. Topic: The Dirty War in Argentina. During the Argentine Dirty War, from 1976 to 1983 an estimated 30,000 people disappeared, kidnapped clandestinely by groups acting for the dictatorship. Human rights groups in Argentina often cite a figure of 30,000 disappeared, Amnesty International estimates 20,000. Many were killed in death flights, a practice initiated by Admiral Luis Maria Mendia, usually after detention and torture. Typically they were drugged into a stupor, loaded into aircraft, stripped, and dropped into the Rio de la Plata or the Atlantic Ocean. According to the testimony of Adolfo Silingo, a former Argentine naval officer convicted in Spain in 2005 of crimes against humanity under the doctrine of universal jurisdiction, there were 180 to 200 death flights during the years 1977 and 1978. Silingo confessed to participating in two such flights, with 13 and 17 people killed respectively. He estimated that the Navy conducted the flights every Wednesday for two years, 1977 and 1978, and that 1,500 to 2,000 people were killed. Victims were sometimes made to dance for joy in celebration of the freedom that they were told awaited them. In an earlier interview, in 1996, Silingo said, they were played lively music and made to dance for joy, because they were going to be transferred to the South. After that, they were told they had to be vaccinated due to the transfer, and they were injected with pentothal. And shortly after, they became really drowsy, and from there we loaded them onto trucks and headed off for the airfield. Silingo said that the Argentine Navy was still hiding what happened during the Dirty War. In May 2010, Spain extradited pilot Julio Alberto Parch to Argentina. Parch, born in 1952, had been arrested in Valencia, Spain, on September 23, 2009 and was wanted in Argentina for his alleged participation as a pilot on the death flights. At his trial in February 2013, Parch not only denied that he had participated, but claimed that all he knew about death flights was from what he had read. In April 2015, further arrests were made. It was reported that flights had started even before 1976, and continued until 1983. An organized military structure was in place to carry out these flights. Battalion de Aviation de l'Ejército 601, Army Air Battalion 601, with a commander, sub-commander, chief of staff, and officers of five companies making up the unit. Soldiers who refused to take part, as well as others who acted as airfield guards and runway cleaners, testified that they had seen live people and corpses loaded onto aircraft. After taking off, the planes returned empty. On 12 March 2016 Interpol, through the National Police of Colombia, arrested Juan Carlos Francisco Bossi in the city of Medellín. 
also known as El Doctor, Bossy is credited for activating the death flights during the Dirty War and is wanted by the Argentine authorities for taking part in death flights and forced disappearance of over 30,000 people. After his arrest, Bossi confessed to the Colombian authorities of being responsible in the deaths of 6,000 individuals. A five year trial, nicknamed the Esma Mega Trial or the Death Flights Trial. Of 54 former Argentine officials accused of death flights and other crimes against humanity Lesser Humanidad, heard 830 witnesses and investigated the death of 789 victims. The trial reached a verdict on 29 November 2017. 29 defendants got life in prison, six others were acquitted, the rest got prison terms ranging from 8 to 25 years. <laughs> Chilean dictatorship Origia Benevente, Pinochet's former personal helicopter pilot, has admitted that, many times, he threw prisoners into the ocean or into the high peaks of the Andes. Flights were also used to make bodies of already killed dissidents disappear. A testimony describes the following procedure, corpses were put in gunny sacks, the sacks were attached to a piece of rail using wire, and a second gunny sack was put around both. The sacks were carried on a pickup truck to the helicopters that flew towards the open sea off the coast of the Valparaiso region, where the bodies were thrown into the ocean. Osvaldo Romo confessed in a 1995 interview to have participated in death flights. Showing no remorse, he added, Now, would it not be better throwing bodies into a volcano? In 2001, Chilean President Ricardo Lagos informed the nation that during Pinochet's rule, 120 civilians had been tossed from helicopters into the ocean, the lakes and the rivers of Chile. <laughs> Algerian War Death flights were used during the Algerian War by French paratroopers of the 10th Parachute Division under Jacques Massou during the Battle of Algiers. After it was discovered that the corpses sometimes resurfaced, the executioners began to attach concrete blocks to their victims' feet. These victims came to be known as Big Eared Shrimps. Crevettes Bigeard, after one of the paratrooper commanders, Marcel Bigeard. Topic: <laughs> Malagasy Uprising. During the Malagasy Uprising of 1947, in Mananjari hundreds of Malagasy were killed, among them 18 women and a group of prisoners thrown from aircraft. <laughs> Zaire, 1965–1997 During the Mobutu era, an unknown number of people were extrajudicially executed by being dropped from helicopter into the Zaire River, the Kinsuka Rapids or Lake Kapaloe in the Shaba region. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary Rendition Scholars have compared the practicalities of the Argentine death flights to the U.S.-led procedure of extraordinary rendition during the War on Terror. In popular culture 
In the Gods Must Be Crazy 1980, soldiers threaten to throw two captured guerrillas out of a helicopter if they do not reveal information. The first guerrilla is pushed out blindfolded and quickly confesses in panic, not realizing the helicopter had already landed and he has been tricked. Anti-communists have used free helicopter ride memes to joke about executing communists. Some alt-right internet forums have also used a free helicopter ride. Internet meme to joke about executing Trump detractors and other left-wing political opponents mostly in reference to Pinochet. Topic. See also Forced disappearance Operation Condor